Hello guys, Dico here. Today I've got the tutorial on the Portcullis where I don't see send either when it's open or closed. Five high. And it is extendable. I'll give some instructions for expanding it. I'll just start building it. So you want to start off with these two five wide things with a gap in between and then just so you can see this is going to be the roof within there the five piston extender and you need these two rows of sticky pistons and to get power into these you can simply do this repairs also here wait let's remove this again let's repeat it over here and we're gonna redstone wire and up here exactly the same but up here it's going to be two ticks and then run the wire around it then you're going to count out 12 blocks from this piston so this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and then you place a stack of 6 regular pistons and do that multiple times until you have the exact width of your portcullis. In this case it's going to be 5. Then underneath these pistons, under the first one you want a row of blocks, underneath the second one, underneath the third one, and then just leave gaps until you have 6 of these rows. This is 5, and this is 6. Then, in between these gaps, oops, let's remove this again, because we first need repeaters, each on 4 ticks. That's going to extend all of these pistons and all the sand. And the sand will then, while it's extending, it will be pushed up. Over here, I can do like that. Until you have six rows of repeaters again, each repeater on four ticks. Fill this up again, and over here, a little bit of a platform, and that's going to have again repeaters on four ticks and redstone. Then, to make sure that we get a one tick pulses every time it extends. We get this and repeat this until you are over here. So every time piston with a block, and then underneath this block, you're going to have this redstone wire. And all these one tick posters will meet up at one point at one wire, and that one wire will then run into the into these pistons which will push all the sand blocks up
And don't mind my Skype, please. Someone is mes messaging me. I don't know. I just want to fix the tutorial. And then just fill this up with redstone. So we have this wire full repeater and then redstone. And all the way to the pistons. And if you want to extend, um, then you can put a block in here that makes it one block longer. But I'll talk about extending later. Now, just let me see. Oh, yes. You're going to extend this by one and run a wire around this until the last repeater and at the last repeater yes you're going to put a block and then two repeaters and fill this up with the redstone then a block adjacent to this redstone and build out five blocks with five repeaters each in one tick then we're going to have a redstone wire if I remember yeah that runs all the way over here so this two from the repeaters and then four out then at this point this is going to be a part of your input a little bit of a mono stable circuit and this will create a one to pulse run that all the way over to here and then three blocks then like that and we'll leave that for now then over here you're going to have a block the torch this torch is going to run in another monostable circuit but because it is inverted the one tick pulse will be created when it turns off and we're not running it down to here but we are going to run this up to the 5 piston extender that we are going to place up here so just let it rest a bit and uh, I'll be right back because I forgot what it looks like okay I'm back let's finish the tutorial and remove this block and move it down by one two blocks out repeater going into some blocks of redstone and now what we need over here is a block with redstone a torch over here then repeater on two and same for this side run out like that one take on this repeater then here same three repeaters on each two takes and fill it up like that and we are going to have a piston right here to block the signal and yes it was like this then a torch on this side and that is going to power the piston like that and I think I'm wrong um, pretty weird
very weird. see move these guys a bit we'll leave that for now just turn it like that repeat on four that's on top of this block and fill that up and make sure that this torch is powering that then over here we're going to have an RS more latch so, two wires with a torch here, and a, do a dust, and then a torch. Make sure that this is on. So, it's going to look a bit like that. Then, your input for that, and all the repeaters. It was a lot of repeaters. Let me see. A lot. I guess it goes out a lot. One, two, three, four, four, and then two extra. So four, five, block, 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 block. And again, five repeaters. I've read some over here. And put all these repeaters on four. Except these two so you should have something like that and then from this torch you're going to have a falling edge detector and that's oh yeah yep So you have a repeater on four, then a repeater, am I doing this right? Yes I am. Three guys can't really follow it all. So repeater on three, torch over there, block and another torch. And that torch is going to run all the way to the other side with repeaters and blocks in between as you can see just like that four repeaters five and then like that and then I come in the T flip flop so four block and then a repeater that ends up and then another repeater for block in front and a piece of redstone on top going into this um, block with the T flip flop at the side then run this wire into the T flip flop get two pieces of glowstone over there run redstone and this is actually the double piston thingy that uh, the solar block gets extended and retracted. This on three ticks and wired into there. Then just bring it into here. Straight. Repeater over there, over there, repeater, another repeater, then this, then underneath this piston, a block, and a torch. So this should be on top of the torch, and this block should be over here. 
as you can see, if I remove the block, it retracts the block, and if I replace it, it's going to extend again. Then, this is quite a lot of stuff. And from here, underneath this block, redstone, with a repeater on um, four ticks of delay. Yep. And this is going to be a pretty long delay. Running down. Like that. And then a repeater over here. With three pieces of redstone and four more repeaters, and this will then go into the RS nor latch. And the reason why this is a long delay is that first it's going to extend, and then this piston needs to fire five times to put the sand back. And at this point. We're going to replace the input mono stables like that, and finally a torch over there. Same over here, except that the torch is going to be on top of this block. That stone blocks with redstone on the top and this torch and actually this is your input but because I'm going to have the input on the top like that I'm doing just this but running a repeater into this block is fine so top of this block we have a torch and now I need to look again Oh yes, of course. And two old sticky pistons. And one red jar piston. Four sticky pistons, one red jar piston. Four sticky pistons, one red jar piston. And so on. Until it's all filled up. So you have that. Then, for extending, repeater over there. Run the redstone around. And you need this five times. Again over here. So then over here you need three ticks. And then five. And then seven. And then nine. Yeah, I was doing this a little different. Like that. And put a block in front of this repeater. Then the redstone. And that's the extending. Then you need to start counting because you need to retract all the blocks again so over here you need 13 ticks no 11 ticks and then up here one more repeater and then 13 ticks then up here 15 ticks And then finally one more up here and seventeen ticks. And in front of each repeater row, just put a block to power these pieces of redstone. Let me check that. Yeah. 
and then from the second, I'm going to take a signal with three repeaters, and I don't really know it from this point. Walk on top, two repeaters. Oh yeah, of course. Then on top of this block, redstone, block to the side, two repeaters, and this is entering the another thing. Put the glowstone like that. I guess you can do it differently. So, whoops. Glowstone to this side. And just put a two take four take six. Two takes for Peter over here in the block. Then run redstone around here. Sorry for that. And then two repeaters on two. And then three repeaters on two. So that's going to be three additional extenders. And you need them all. And just again blocks in front of all the repeaters then from this block take a signal and you can actually make these normal blocks to spare glowstone and down from that block a two repeaters on four two four three five so like this Then over here, with Peter in the block, that stone, two blocks, like the one is glowstone. Then over here, and uh, Peter on four, two and four. Yep, two and four. Underneath two, upper one, four. Then four ticks from this repeater, and five ticks over here, and redstone finally. So I guess that's the top done. Let's give it a shot. And there we go. And I'm not sure about the bottom. At least we need sand, of course. And the door blocks. So put a stack of six sand. In this case, it's five wide. And don't forget to place blocks over here. That'll do it. Let's place our door. Today I'll make it out of never fence. Make it five high because that's the height that this door is. Which is higher than the most particulars. Let's give it a test. A bit of lag. And I forgot to connect these up, which is very handy and stupid. Let me just replace all these crystals again. Wait, what about... I'll just... toggle the piston. And start the clock.
Well, it should work now. Five, six, and another five. Until you have the six stack again. But probably you didn't test it, I hope. work now. If I turn it off, the upper piston squeal will go. And as you can see, you don't see those pistons because of this block over here. And I recommend you to block the sim so you don't see anything when it's opened. high just four but I can't really put additional blocks maybe like that okay so let's give it another test extend And it retracts. And as you can see, I'm missing a block of sand for some reason. Let's put that way. Hmm. Oh, I see. Maybe that. that that's the difference. I don't know. Remove this piston, send, and put it in here. Close the door again. And there we go. Finally, tutorial done. You can hook that lever up to anything, an arsenal latch, a T flip flop, a timer, something like that. And when you power it, it opens, and when you depower it, it closes again. Okay, so now for the extending part, if you want to extend this door, you need to extend these lines and then move this part to the right and you, if you extend this part then you need to move this and if you need it you can put a block in front of this repeater so you reach as many as many repeaters as you can and it's going to be like 10 or 12 wide that's probably most possible in this door. I hope you like this tutorial and this door and I hope you will give a command, subscribe, rate, command and I'll see you next time.